So I woke up today, and it was like 7 p.m. because my sleep schedule is like that of a degenerate. I go to bed in like the early morning and wake up in the late in the late evening because I'm a weirdo. But anyway, I digress. I opened up Twitter, and I saw that Dead by Daylight had a new patch. And it changed a bunch of stuff about Billy. A bunch of his add-ons are getting changed and tweaked and, you know, made to do what they were actually designed to do. And this is fucking awesome because some of these add-ons, I was reading the descriptions and I was like, yo, that would make a good video. And then I would use the add-ons and they would not do at all what I wanted them to do. But now they do. Now they do do the things I want them to do. So we're going to make a video today about one that I've been really excited about, and that is low pro chains. If you guys have not seen low pro chains, uh, this is an add-on where you go straight through pallets. Like if you're chainsawing a pallet, instead of it stopping your chainsaw and then you break the pallet and then you gotta like, you know, go on with your 4.6 self, you just keep going. You break the pallet and you just keep going. Now this, I feel like could be really interesting. There's definitely some cool mind games that I think you could possibly do with this. And it also kind of, you know, counters pallet campers as well. So I definitely think this is fun to play with. And I definitely think that I could do some fun stuff with it. And I want to try that today. I'm going to be combining it with doom engravings, which uh, just makes your movement speed faster. They also, they also changed these. They, they nerfed these in the update, but they actually reverted them back to the way they were pre-update. So these are stronger now, which is also cool. That's also awesome. So both these add-ons are just actually very strong now, and I'm going to be giving them a try. Oh, wait, I didn't really talk about low pro chains. Uh, I didn't say enough. Uh, I, I, there was also the text that says that if you break a, a pallet within the last five seconds, then your chainsaw won't one-shot down people, which is kind of important. So it'll be a, it'll a one-shot down most of the time, but then if I just finish breaking a pallet, then it'll only do one health state, which is still good, but, you know, either way. I'm also just running my standard build on Billy. Uh, I, don't, I kind of think this goes without saying, but... I'm running Enduring to, you know, be better in chase and not give a shit about pallets at all whatsoever because it kind of just feels good. I don't really think that this this perk is one of the best. It just feels good. Infectious Fright is there so I can snowball map pressure and, you know, basically get multiple downs at once. And also even just for information, even if I'm not going to slug people, just for information, it's really good. And then I have Barbecue and Chili and Whispers. Both are my two tracking perks that I just slap on on most killers because they're just amazing perks. Barbecue gives you blood points and Whispers... It's just, in my opinion, the best tracking perk in the game. Plus, plus, there's new auras. And I want to see what the new auras look like. So barbecue hopefully will work once or twice and we'll be able to, you know, actually see the auras. So anyway, uh, let's just give it a go. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Dead Dog Saloon. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's kind of interesting because you can actually keep going even after breaking through a wall. And I feel like the shack wall might actually be really useful with that. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Someone's got object, which is actually a okay with me. As Billy, I don't mind people having object at all. That is a okay with me. <laughs> Bro, that is so fun. That is so fun. I don't even care that it didn't work at all. That is so fun. <laughs> oh my god, I love this add-on. Holy shit, I am I am gonna get so many nasty plays with this add-on. I don't know if I'm gonna get it this game. This is like my first time actually using it. So I'm not sure if it's gonna happen like this game, but man, I'm gonna keep playing with this add-on until I can get some good stuff with it. Cause my lord, my lord is that fun. Good stun. She actually needed to get that stun perfectly or else it wouldn't have, uh, or else it would have gone right through and hit her. So that was actually a really good stun. Oh my god, the extra charge speed from the engravings, man. I tried to whip my camera early to curve around the rock, and it was too early because I wasn't actually going to chainsaw yet. So I ended up just chainsawing into the wall. Bro, this building. This building, though? This building, though. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this fucking add on. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love it so much. This is amazing. Wait, where'd she go? Wait, she has poised? Wait, you're a poised gamer? Bro, have I ever seen poised before? Ever? Yo, that was weird. That was so weird. Man, I'm actually like gonna lose this match from taking this chase. Because, uh... She's just running this main building this whole time. Like she's she's done nothing but just stay at this main building. This is actually like a really bad chase to take. But man, I just like can't resist. It's so funny. 
It's so funny trying to get hits with this add-on, dude. It is cracking me up. All right, I'm just going to down her. I'm just going to down her. <laughs> oh, my God, man. All right, come over here. I want to get more. I want to get more out of this. I feel like the ability to, like, curve around after breaking a pallet is really fucking fun, and I want to play with that more. I want to play with that more. Oh, hello. How you doing? That's not how you want to play that. That's not you. That's not what you want to do at all there, my guy. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, dude, these guys are somehow like hyper aware of what I'm doing. And like, that's a bummer because that was like a really good curve, was it not? Like, I curved around that bitch. And like, I, I, I assumed he would be right there, but he wasn't. I guess I gotta play somewhat normal though. Big sad. I mean, even here, like, what do you do? I guess you just do that. The extra charge time is kind of fucking me, to be honest with you. Like, at some point, I feel like it's fun, but at some point, I feel like I'm kind of throwing the game because I'm just going for them too much. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I'm having such a good time just trying to make this add-on work, but I feel like I'm just letting them, like, go on these long-ass chases because I'm just not getting any hits and I'm instead going for wacky-ass chainsaws. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Worth it or not, I don't know. This Meg is good. She's pretty good. She is a pretty good player, I gotta say. This box is really weirdly shaped. There we go. That box is really weirdly shaped, man. Like, trying to get a hit around that, around these boxes is like, it's not like a perfect circle, but it's also like, you know, still kind of curvable. It's, it's very awkward. It's just very awkward to play around that. I feel like every time I play that pallet as like any killer, I always kind of struggle around those boxes for some reason. I don't know why. It's very odd. I want full health dude back here. That's who I want. Look out, dude. Oh my god. You almost walked into that, man. You legitimately almost walked into that. Where are you going? What is your plan? I gotta throw this pallet. <laughs> nice pallet, nerd. <laughs> Good one, nerd. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this guy left. Oh, this is the guy that I just hooked. I don't want I don't want to chase him. I'm gonna get DS'd if I chased him. Man, that Kate's back upstairs again. Okay, what the hell are you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, you know I hooked you too. No, you're gonna DS me. No, 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 no. Stop. No. Whoo. Never mind. We're fine. I wasn't scared at all. I, dude, I wasn't even scared. I knew the whole time I wasn't getting DS. Dude, I wasn't even scared. You guys were scared. I wasn't scared. You were scared. All right, I'm gonna let her do that, Jen, because I can't really defend that generator. It's awful. Like, having to walk the whole way upstairs and around and go in and out and all around just to get to that gen. It takes fucking... It takes so long. I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just chase this Meg instead. Hey, dude. Oh, there's nothing here. Do you have... Nope. There is something here if you got dead hard, though. Don't worry, dude. If you got dead hard, there's always something. Eh, I'm just gonna hook. Maybe, maybe I'll hook or maybe I'll get DS. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna attempt to hook. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, is it okay if I hook you? Is that okay? Are you gonna? Okay, good, good. Not DS. We are good. Everything is okay. Perfect. Dude, way out there. Dude on that generator. I'm gonna go to that gen. The hell with the dude that's way out there. Hello, friends. <laughs> it's hard to control, though. I will admit, it is hard to control because you—it's hard to like—you can't really see what's there, so you're kind of just guessing. You know what I mean? And sometimes you guess wrong, and then you're like, "Shit!" <laughs> all right, all right. 
Come here, my dude. I think this guy's my last stack, too, which is really good. They are taking forever to unhook that guy. I guess they just want to do that gen first. Which, hey, I mean, I guess that's okay with me. That means I can go back to the... I can go back to the hook. It says I found the survivor, but like, I don't know how I found him through a wall. But okay. We'll let him go, because I don't really want to, like... I don't want to be that guy that just, like, puts you in the basement and then, like, watches your body and makes sure you die. You know, that's kind of lame. I'm just... I'm playing this build just to have some fun, you know? I'm not playing this build to, like, sweat my balls off and get kills. I'm trying to just have some fun. And I feel like fun is being had. And I want the survivors to also have a little bit of fun, you know? Well, that... Yeah, you know, two people can't vault the same window at the same time, you see? So, like generally oh that's not how you want to play the game that's you, you see like generally speaking you can't blind someone unless they're like standing still in an animation and you see also two survivors can't like vault the same window at the same time so you see like generally speaking you see like you're supposed to like let one person go at a time and the other person goes somewhere else you know you know do you understand do you understand what i'm saying here wait where's the did she even make it through oh she's out here Hi, do you have the Sisa Strike? Hi, are you gonna stab me? Nice, dude. Bro, how am I not getting DS'd right now? This is amazing. This is amazing, I love this. This is fantastic. All right, the dude that was closer was the full health one. I think I wanna go after them, maybe, possibly. Well, or do I, or do I wanna go after whoever's on the gen? Well. Shit. I don't know where the full health guy went. I kind of can't not chase the person on the generator. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I kind of have to defend my generators. You know what I mean? You yeah, know what I mean? Oh, that guy's out. It looks like we're probably going to end up 4K anyway, which, you know, I ain't complaining. Coming through. Oh, it figures it's the Meg with object. This Meg is actually pretty good. Not really that surprising that she's the one running object. Fuck, man. That's hard because the lockers are there. It's hard because you can't really, like, you can't really see what's on the other side of the wall. You kind of have to guess. I mean, I feel like, I guess it's not a guess if you know the map. I just don't really know this map that well yet because it's still kind of new. Dude, I'll M on you, man. I don't, I don't care. I really don't care. I feel like survivors like this know that, you know, Billy's like to go for chainsaws. So they end up just, like, playing around that and they'll just, like, they'll, they'll, they'll just sit still at a window and not vault it because they know that you're going to, like, try to go for things. <laughs> Bro, I would love to see what this looks like from his point of view, dude. I would love to see this, honestly. Dude, I would kill to see the survivor's point of view. <laughs> that probably looks so insane, dude. Just bursting through a wall. Holy balls. Okay. Uh, I need to see if I can find Hatch. This last, who's left? Is it the Nancy? I think it's the Nancy. She might end up getting hat. Oh, she's right there. Oh, she's on it. All right, touche, touche. All right, GGs, GGs. That was that was incredibly fun. I'm gonna be honest. Regardless of like how good or bad we were even doing, like even if I lost that game, my God, was that incredibly fun. Holy shit, I love this add-on. My Lord. Oh, these guys are pretty low rank too. These guys are pretty low rank. This is new matchmaking coming through. I mean, no, no, no surprise. I know Smackle. I actually know Smackle. They're a they they they're a very good player. And Josh and Josh and with you, I don't know who they are, but they were really good too. It's just unfortunate the matchmaking is a little bit a little bit sketchy. A hey, GG fellers, GG. That was a good one. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That was very good. All right, guys. I don't really think there's much else to say. That was phenomenal, and I loved it. And I just want to do it again. I just want to do it again. I don't really know if I care about what map we go to. I kind of just am really hoping we don't get like an indoor map. And even if we get an indoor map, like Hawkins, Hawkins might be okay. I just feel like Larry's. Larry's is the one map I don't want to go to. I wish instead of like having offerings where you can pick the map in particular, I wish you, I wish there was an offering where you can like say like, I don't want to go to this map, right? They should add that. That should be a thing they add. Make it like purple rarity, where it's like you slap them on this offering and it doesn't matter what other offerings people bring, you don't go to that map. 
That way we can all burn that offering for Midwitch and then we can never play on Midwitch ever again, ever. That would be so cool. I would love that. But anyway, I'm going to let it be random because I think that's the only map that I don't want. Maybe Haddonfield would suck too. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to, hopefully we don't get those maps. And I just want to run this again and see how it goes. So let's do it. Okay. I mean, big map, but I'm Billy. So who really cares? I can get around quick. All right. Something I've kind of thought about is that I think if I just played Billy like normally, like if I wasn't strictly trying to go for these chainsaw hits and then just kind of use it as like a little added benefit here and there, I feel like this would actually probably just be really, really good add-ons. Like these could be like borderline standard add-ons for a Billy player because they're just generally strong, you know? Hey, dude. Are you... Are you... Are you okay? Are you okay? So, like, it kind of got me thinking. I was like, maybe... Maybe if I just play Billy like I do normally and then only try to throw in, like, a through the pallet hit every once in a while, I would probably just dominate. But at the same time, that's not the point of this video. It was kind of just my thoughts. I'm not going to do that. I'm still going to go for every single pallet hit I can. It was just kind of a, oh, wait, are these babies? Wait a minute, are these babies? Hold on a second, are these babies? Wait a minute. Wait, are you a baby? Are you a baby? Oh, you're a baby, aren't you? You're a baby. You're a baby. Yep. Yep, this is a toddler. Yep. Yep. I am currently murdering a toddler. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. There you go, little guy. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I getting the, uh... Am I getting the old new DVD matchmaking? Is that what's going on right now? Uh-oh. So far, both of these downs have been pretty uncontested. Like, I feel like both people I've rolled up on have just kind of looked at me and been like, wait, what are you? What's your power do? And then they kind of just get, they, they, they get deaded, you know? Like this guy, where the hell is he going, dude? Like there, there, there's nothing out here, man. There's nothing out here. This is the dead zone. You, you ran away from the safety and you ran into the dead zone. There's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing here, man. You're, you, you're just dying. You, you, you're just dying. Well, this is really unfortunate. I guess we'll head back to that hook too. Can we go through the building? No. It's on the wrong side. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. For the pallet, you won't. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 dude. No, dude. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no, dude. This sucks. Oh, come on. These guys are babies, dude. They're wee little baboos, man. Look, that guy's not even running. He's he's not even hustling to the hook. He's, like, taking his time. That dude desperately needs help, and his teammate's just taking his time. Oh, God, dude. This is so unfortunate. All right. I guess... I guess, honestly, what I should do, like, realistically, I think in this scenario, the correct thing to do, I think, is just to end this game as fast as possible, you know? A lot of people are like, you know, like, I, I was streaming the other night, and this happens sometimes, and people were like, Tofu, have mercy on the baby Dwight. The baby Dwight, he's so cute. Have mercy on him. Let him get hatched. He's just a baby. Let him live. And, like, I don't think that's the play, to be honest with you. I don't think letting babies live is the play with the current MMR situation we have, anyway. Because I feel like what's going on right now is the matchmaking is trying to figure itself out, right? Like, it's brand spanking new. And it's trying to figure itself out. And, and, and it's just not, like, there's still some things that are unsure yet. And it's got to, like, work, you know, like, work in slow. When, while people get, you know, their MMR where it needs to be. And I feel like if I'm letting babies go then it's just gonna jack up their MMR and they're gonna keep going against good killers all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I need to like ruthlessly murder them. Like it's my, it's my civic duty to ruthlessly murder the babies, which is a sentence that I probably should not have said because I'm now on a list probably. But I feel like it is definitely a thing that I gotta do. Like for, like, for their sake, for their sake. Because they need to get, they need their, they need their MMR to be lowered, you know? Mine needs to be raised and theirs needs to be lowered.
so that I can play against better people and they can have a battle against other babies. Like, I want to regress this gen back to zero because I don't know how the MMR system works, but maybe if I 4K them with all the gens at zero progress, maybe that will, uh, you know, do something. These guys are literally just hiding now. My God. He's just crouching at a tree. He's just, he's just at a tree crouching. Oh my God. Oh my lord. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully we can see this last guy with barbecue. Oh wait, there's no auras. I haven't really even paid attention to the auras. Are they better? I think I've just been seeing them better and I haven't really like noticed. Was it, was he on this gen? Is that where he was just now? I think he was. That Jake's got calm spirit. Which is interesting. Yeah, this guy's... <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. Sorry about it, dude. Sorry, man. I know you're just a baby, dude. I know you're just a wee little baby. You probably have no idea how that just happened. You're probably like, wait, hold on a minute, dude. I thought pallets were supposed to protect me, man. What the hell? Why did the pallet not protect me? He's probably so confused, honestly. I probably just like... I probably just gave this man like an existential crisis. He probably has no idea like what day of the week it even is anymore. He's like, bro, I just picked up this game. I was told pallets protect me. This motherfucker just went right through it and killed me anyway. <laughs> Dude, I don't, GG, I guess. I'm terrified of this end game screen. I'm terrified of what we're about to see. Ooh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, oh, man. He said, F you, killer, level one ass. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, not like this. Not like this, dude. I mean... <laughs> do I even say GG? I just like, do I just say sorry? Um, this matchmaking was awful and I'm sorry. GG. I, I think that's all I can say, really. Uh, y yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess let's get out of here. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I kept in that game with the babies just because, I don't know. It was still kind of funny in its own way, right? So I figured I'd leave it in. But thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out, watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, dude, Lopro Chains, really fun. If you guys haven't got a chance to play with these yet, I would highly recommend fucking around with them. They are very, very fun. I'm actually surprised that they moved them from ultra rare to, to uh, very rare. Because, like, Apex Muffler is pretty dirty with, like, with like silent builds. But these are, these are pretty nutty. These are pretty nutty. I'm going to be honest. And the fact that they're only purple, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of nuts. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Remember to leave, leave the video a like if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it helps me out with the algorithm and all that. Sub to the channel as well if you guys want. I've been uploading daily, and I might fall back to uploading every other day eventually. But I'm going to keep pumping out as many uploads as I can for you guys because I've been really enjoying doing this. And I've been seeing a lot of support, and it makes me really happy. So thank you guys. And uh, also, remember to stop by the Twitch stream sometime. I'm live six nights a week from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash shotofu. So if you want to come hang out with me while I do, you know, dumb shit on DVD and laugh and have a good time, feel free to stop by. Say hi. I love talking to chat. I'm always in there talking to people. So feel free to pop, pop by and say hello. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Have you guys have a good rest of your night. And I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. I'll see you later. See ya.